Hello kia ora. thanks for joining us, I'm Philip Duncan. We've got a lot to cover in our weather video today. Not only do we have this low coming in out of the Tasman with subtropical winds, and that's about to feed in some very heavy rain around Nelson, Motueka, and Takaka. We've also got a cold southerly coming into the lower South Island on Sunday. But we're going to kick off with a potentially exclusive video sent in to us from storm chaser Brett McCall here in New Zealand. And we think this might be a video that we've never seen before. They are of uh, thunderstorm sprites or red sprites. Basically, these are some red lights that you see above a thunderstorm high up in the atmosphere. Let me show you. You have to be quick to see it. You'll see a flash and then another one over there. Let's repeat that so you can see it again. Flash to the side here, another one over there. So what is that exactly? Well, the first ever red lightning sprites captured on video in New Zealand, that's the claim. So let's take a closer look at what they are. So you'll see them high up here in the atmosphere. Notice the thunderstorm clouds a down, low down compared to these flashes. So what are they? Well, they are electrical discharges occurring high up in the atmosphere. Let's take a look at the second one because I think this is a little bit more obvious what's going on. So you can see up here the electrical discharge. That's about 80 uh, kilometers above sea level, well above the earth. So this is a very cool image. We thank uh, Brett McCall for it. He's from Storm Chasers 300. You can see the YouTube uh, page there, Storm Chaser 300. So very cool video. Thank you, Brett, for sending us, uh, that into us, something that we don't see very often. I don't know much about this, so it's, uh, it's brand new to me. So very interesting uh, learning curve today, reading up more about that. All right, let's move on to the forecast. So we've got this rainmaker coming through for the Upper South Island, and we are likely to see some very heavy rain around the Motueka, Takaka area uh, in Tasman region. There is a bit of rain spreading elsewhere, heavier falls also moving down from the north of New Zealand and around Mount Taranaki, but clearly the northwest corner of the South Island is the region that's most exposed. So a closer up look, as you can see, Takaka, Motueka, this is the area most at risk. Nelson, more on the outer edges of it, but you're still possibly going to see 60 millimeters in Nelson, 70 millimeters or so in Richmond, uh, 80 millimeters potentially in Motueka, and then 100 millimeters in Takaka. So sort of 20 millimeters as you move across there with each uh, segment. So a fair bit of rain coming through over the next day or two. Let's take another look at that. So this is Wednesday's rainfall. The bulk of the rain coming in for the north is actually later on tonight and overnight, but you can see here already that rain starting to come in today across the upper South Island. Rainfall totals around about 50, 60 millimetres coming through over the next 24 hours. And then we go into Thursday and the next 24 hours of rain. So you can see the top of the country here getting around 30, 35 millimetres, and then a little bit heavier through the central part of the North Island. But again, it's around that Motueka, Takaka area especially up in the hills, that are likely to get another 80, 90 millimetres. So there could be 150 millimetres coming for the ranges west of Nelson. Around Nelson and eastwards, those totals do drop back off. So this is how the forecast looks as we get through the day. As we go into Thursday, there's the front moving uh, into the North Island, heavier falls. You can still see that heavier rain around the Nelson ranges. But look, the further south you go, the drier it is, not a lot of wet weather happening around the lower South Island. So that low will transition across the North Island as we go through Thursday. As we go into Friday, now the windy westerlies return, uh, especially around Tasmania. You've got gale force winds over 100 k's an hour coming through for you on Friday. Those gales will just brush the southern coastline of Victoria and also the southern coastline of New Zealand. It won't be too significant on Friday in New Zealand with those winds, but they will start to pick up and a little bit blustery here and there. Places like Auckland will be just a little bit windy. We've got more rain coming. This is the two-day rainfall uh, starting from Friday and the bulk of the rain back where it should be up around the mountains and the Fiordland National Park where over 100 millimetres, 120, 130 millimetres likely there but over along the eastern side basically nothing. The dark blue 0.1 to 2 millimetres so that basically means you're dry and the green you can see here is not on the key. This is just the satellite map showing the green, which means no rain's falling on Banks Peninsula, for example. And if you get anything, it's more likely to be just a spit or two. As we go into the weekend, now that windy weather from Tasmania, it arrives for us. So we've got gale force winds around parts of the South Island and Cook Strait. It's fairly mild though, northwesterly is blowing through, but you will feel the start of that colder change that is coming in for Southland, but it's also coming in for Tasmania and Victoria. 
that southerly coming around this next big high pressure zone. So with the windy weather, let's take a little bit more of a focused look at the South Island where the biggest gusts will be in the purple shading. That's getting up to 100, 110, maybe 120 kilometers an hour as you go further down the mountain. So it's mostly up in the Alpine areas, but some gusts will come down into parts of Otago and Southland as that nor'wester blows through. And remember, it gets colder afterwards. As we go into Sunday, there is that cold change, the blue line indicating that. So temperatures drop around the South Island. It'll be wintry in Southland, single digit daytime highs in some areas. Please check ruralweather.co.nz for more information. And in the North Island, you've got a, a weak front moving through. It'll be a little bit wet uh, as you go through Sunday, but the rainfall accumulation won't be overly huge. Temperatures drop as well. We've got that cold change on Sunday. Look at the below average temperatures and single digit daytime highs in places like Southland and maybe coastal parts of Otago. You might get up to 10 or 11 in some warm areas. And it's warmer than average in the eastern North Island on Sunday as those west and northwest winds blow. And our final map, going big picture here, showing all the different uh, weather systems coming in out of Australia. But as we kick off next week, that cold line going all the way up. So it will be a cooler start to Monday for next week around New Zealand, but the westerlies will start to lift those temperatures back up in Southland. And when you look out over towards Australia, high pressure likely to be coming into New Zealand for the final day or days probably the final day of September and the start of October. Then there's another low, another high, and in the Indian Ocean, another low. So looks very much like spring. It's all over the place. And with the spring equinox tomorrow morning, Thursday morning, that means by the time we get to Monday, the days are longer than the nights. That's all from me. We'll see you tomorrow with our next update. And don't forget, we've got our global uh, climate, well, not climate watch, but it's a global extremes update, which is coming out later on today, taking a look at the top 10 weather events around planet Earth for today, Wednesday. But we will see you again tomorrow, Thursday, for the New Zealand update.